Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs and today we're playing some more randomized roguelands with Krieg the Psycho. The character that I always put off playing in randomized roguelands because... Well, one, if you don't have Release the Beast, that makes melee pretty much... I wouldn't say unusable, but... You, your melee options are not as consistent in randomized roguelands as they are on base Krieg. Base Krieg has sounds the voices for lots of melee damage. And Melee Krieg has released the beast to refresh his cooldown whenever he wants. And he also has very high explosive damage scaling. I don't have access to any of those things. Most of the time I have access to none of those things. I have boar. That's what I've got. I think we take a point into it. I've been running a lot of boar recently, but it's not my fault. It's, it's, it has nothing to do with me. It's all about the randomness of the game. I think Light the Fuse is going to be a better option for me for Invite for My Life than anything else right now. And I could do a, a Be Like Water type build, but honestly, with these tier 1 skills, I'm not seeing anything that I really like. I like Light the Fuse. I do like Fill to the Brim, and I do like Fleet. Expertise is also something I'd be willing to put points into. As well as one shot, one kill. As well as the Spestos Blood Trance. Doesn't look like I'll be using it. Smaller, lighter, faster, increases your reload. That's Krieg. Basically, without release the beast. Or like a lot of melee skills. You you basically have no action skill. And so basically. Yes, I do have an action skill. But. If I take smaller, lighter, faster. I won't, I won't have grenade toss. Or I won't have axe tosses. Which I'm, I'm probably going to be taking tomorrow later faster because I did see it somewhere. Yeah, right here. Smaller letter faster increases your reload speed but decreases your magazine size. This is from Gage. So as soon as I take that minus one, I won't be able to do axe tosses anymore unless I do, unless I figure out a different way to increase my grade. I can increase my mag size. Which is a little bit sad. Fuel the Rampage is a nice skill for getting back reactions, for getting back Buzzax Rampage. But it's not good enough on its own. Without Release the Beast, it's just, it's so much riskier to enter Buzzax Rampage, especially if I don't have more melee skills. I really do not have many melee skills at all. So we go gun builds. That's, I think that is, a, I think we've made that decision now. Use Boar, Abandon Gun Build. Do we want Chance for Free Shots? Which is better to lower our health and shields? Or do we want fill to the brim? Let's take fill to the brim for the more magazine size. If we get access to some... I mean... We have, we have elemental elation. Do we have elemental empathy? Do we have an, an easy way to heal? That's, that's the issue I'm seeing right now. Is I don't have an easy way to heal. I, I just don't have any HP regen. I can go quick charge. But I think we can just a standard gun build where we try to use the best possible, best option available. You know, you basically just build best board. If you're used to playing auto battlers, there's a term called best board. And what best board is, is just you take your base game knowledge of the board or of like whatever position. And that's what you play. It's like a brain dead tactic to play early game. But I don't want to go too far into it, but. Say if you're playing TFT, which is the League of Legends uh, auto battler. And you know, okay, I know that Caitlyn is the best sniper right now. Her her ultimate one shots people. It's it's, it's I think it's like it's overtuned, blah blah blah. I personally think it's powerful. And sometimes you can look online and see if your stats match up, or just listen to expert opinions and see that they match up. That's just, that's just a little bit of strategy verification more than it is strategy. Acquisition. I'm not a big fan of seeing. By the way, this launcher out. When in doubt, launcher out for here. You get nine launcher shots. There's really no reason to use them. Not to use them early game. So like, yeah, you won't have them for fright for your life. So enemies can't kill you if they're dead. So like, I don't. I'm not understanding your point. <clears throat> but if we just use the best board, this is what I'm trying to say. If we just use Caitlyn in the early game because she's she's overpowered. She at least takes one down with her. 
that could be that could be you know a Torg launcher that can be a Droog if it drops a quad a and an oh, Slayer of Terramorphous class mod it's just so bad that is that is the goated blue class mod for traditional creek for middle tree creek first chest i got it and i can't use it that's for just absolutely ridiculous we roll on what's my current class mod giving melee damage and empty the rage okay something over there has to be better we'll start with slayer of terramorphous class mod we have it is it bo is it boosting any of our skills one that we don't care about. Okay. Then again, <laughs> no, 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 don't don't bring melee back into the picture. It's, it's you don't have enough melee damage scalings. Nit roll sounds the voices or counter. Oh, you did roll counter strike. You did roll counter strike. After getting hit, your next melee attack is a chance to deal massively increased damage. I, I personally think this has juice. Rising Shot as well, I think has juice for melee builds. So it's Counter Strike technically gives me the same amount of damage as Silence the Voices without boosts. That's the problem. I'm not going to have enough melee damage for the late game. The dragons will kill me. Just trying to make up. You're trying to make up for those melee damage numbers. Timothy Kale says, love the content. We'll, we'll say, though, the random weapon parts was one of my favorites, just pure carnage, or chaos and carnage. Yeah, I think I am going to revisit the zane, the zaniness of the, of the pure wep random weapons. Just pick up everything. I'll tell you what, this, this Krieg run is my last run of a gauntlet attempt. Um, and if I pass it, I would have gone five out of six. So after this run, I think I'll maybe reinstall the carnage again. And I have I list, I've read a lot of comments about how to play it. Isaac, what's up? All right, so we roll here. Horror show. It runs, it rolls. But we're going to add the three-way Hulk to our repertoire here, I think. Um, let's see. Green capacity plus six. I think that right there on its own is enough of a reason to just say let's just run that make sure we have a good grenade on what we have we just have a, a regular thrown grenade okay don't sleep on these grenades by the way just regular thrown grenades don't sleep on them i think a slag option in in number two is not a bad idea a shock option nothing's gonna have shields for this zone at least but i have a us yeah Shock option. That grenade should blow up and do some damage to this lad. It's not terrible, but it's not good either. Maybe applying this slag before the grenade would have been a good idea. Aiming this a little bit better is also a good idea too. Boom, that one caught him midair. That was pretty sick. Bad tosses will, will get me. Come on, walk forward like you did before. Walk forward like you did before. Hey, that's not bad. I was also able to get a reload off. If I get into too much trouble, I can buzz axe rampage. I'm not, I'm not against it. I think those are two good grenades. I think those will get the job done. Yep. Don't run into the slag pit. Because now I'm slagged. Evade, evade. You No way you ever get me. I'm too quick, too strong. Stop sitting behind me. I'm, I'm so lucky my screen isn't full of puke right now. There it is, yep. Appreciate that. 1v1. Let's not take any damage here. Let's prove that it was better. Oh, completely outplayed because I decided to stand still and take damage for free. Alright, we farm. I've been, I've been contemplating more and more turning back on the... The... No clear enemies after round ends. Setting. Someone in my most recent video 
said, boo, don't badmouth jolts. So the first thing I did was find the moment I did. I, I found it. And I timestamped it in a reply to him. So if anyone's curious, you can go go watch that for yourself. Start the drama. It's 2024. Start the drama. Jolts thinks he's good at Rogue Lance. It's crazy. Look, I watched him. Look, I watched him one shot dragons. Okay. I watched him do it. I wasn't on his stream, but he put it up. He did a Rogue Lance video of him. And I, at the end of the day, he, he basically ransacked traditional Rogue Lance with clear enemies on rend off. And he, and he one-tapped each dragon pretty much to the face with a shotgun. It was... No, when I say one-tapped, I mean... I mean, I, I mean he seriously, he one-tapped them. With one, with one shot. It was a little bit gross. But he thinks he's so good. It's crazy. That's the best part. I'm, so I, I, I called him out in that, my last video. Spoiler alert. I called him out. I said, show up to randomize Roguelands. Sh show up. This is where it's at right now. If you're a Borderlands fan, there is no no better way to experience the game than randomize Roguelands IMO. Wait, okay. Maybe, like, you don't have to spam it as much as I do. Okay, you could probably go back to base game. And be With your newfound knowledge of what you like and stuff like that, go get a new farm and a new chase if you want different speed and stuff like that. But I think a matching grip quad uh, can definitely, and a get little Gatlin gun. I mean, I don't say no to either of those at all. Even with my, my, my rocket ammo back, never punished. I'm blinking five points, I'm sure someone is like, put your points in, put your points in. I don't need points, okay? The points need me. I think the max size makes a lot of sense, given the fact that we now have a quad. And what am I working towards? I think it's, it is one shot, one kill. So let's go fleet here. If our shields go down, we will be extra fast. That's not the worst thing in the world. But when do you want to be fast the most? Ask yourself that question. When would you rather be... When would you rather be fast? When your shields are up or shields are down? <laughs> Just sw switch up of how you're thinking about it. And it makes way more sense. And I think, honestly, we if we want to put down our own shields for the movement speed, why don't we... <laughs> if we want to put down our own shields for the movement speed, now I'm completely just... I'm going completely delusional. Then why don't we take an amp shield? And not only... <clears throat> not only... Shreds this guy's shield. But also, as we get closer, first shot is amped. Oh, see you later. Oh my gosh, it's GG. Chalk it up. Chalk it up. We're going the distance. Later. And we're going to be adding one shot, one kill to this. The game can't even handle, the frames can't even handle the one shots. That's, that's, that is, that is where we are at right now. Okay, so we go fleet. Now we put four shots, one shot, one kill. It's a wrap. Why in chat if yes, and in chat if no. It's a wrap. I'm going to... These mobbing rounds have zero chance. I think it's a freebie. That torque launcher has a lot of juice. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of whys. I would never put why in a million years you're stuck at this game. Hey, <laughs> thank you. Appreciate it.
Timothy asks, why are you making up chatters? Don't you, don't you know who I am? I am the guy who makes up chatters. <laughs> I have the dude. That's an homage. Okay, I'm not gonna say I'm stealing his joke and that's, and then, then stealing his joke again. That's an homage to Northern Lion. People call him out for making up chatters and he's like, yeah. So? Dude, I gotta do the same thing. He, I once listened to, uh, uh, I once listened to a Dan Geesling, Big Brother winner and t Twitch streamer. He's playing Elden Ring right now. Goes pretty off. And he did a, a podcast with Northern Lion. He's probably just a, no, that's like a, probably a top one percenter, like Twitch streamer or YouTuber combo earner in popularity right now. He, he spammed Binding of Isaac. Uh, roguelite, uh, um, roguelite gameplay and and live chat. He's a comedian. He tries to be a comedian, and he, I mean he is a comedian. He is pretty funny. But anyways, I was into a, li a live chat or like a podcast that those two did. And Dan was like, "So you like you did like five Isaac episodes a day, right?" And he goes, "Yeah." And he's like, "Those and those were all like high energy." And he goes, oh, I don't want to say high energy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> but he's like, yeah, that's just what I did. He's like, I just went, I made Isaac episodes. So I'm trying to find my Isaac. I, this game is definitely an Isaac for me. I would say I've been spamming this game for how many months now? And it is getting better. If I, if the, if the randomizer... For the weapons, I can get, a, I think, a good grip on what that can do. Then it would turn the game to a true arcade. I don't know if I want full arcade. You know? I guess it's not full arcade because our, our skills are... Our skills are, are randomized. So we have to put the bills together. But it's going to take on its own meta. You know? It's going to take on its own, it's going to take on its own meta. And maybe going back, <clears throat> maybe going back to Roguelands proper would be the way. To do, to do randomized runs for just weapons. I, I don't know. We'll see. Still not getting anything realistic. For a very boss fight, loot wise. This quad is okay. The randomized skills keeps things interesting. I agree. Speaking of which, I have five points. We go one shot, one kill, and I think we stop in this tree for now. Because now the other thing that makes sense for us is inconceivable and then quick charge. Quick charge, quick charge makes a lot of sense for us. Keep our shields up. More amp shots. And now I don't just completely toss. Oh, I can bore. Yeah, bore. Just, just, just do bore shenanigans right here. Can I get a can I get a kill with this? Is the question. Oh yeah, definitely. All right, let's go. Boom. Should I go the deadly bloom build? If I had more points into it, I would go the deadly bloom build. Mr. TXO1 on YouTube. He said that if you guys want to try a UVHM build that's OP, just do the Deadly Bloom, like the Fuse Kree build. My issue is I just don't think it can, it can kill... I don't think it can kill raid bosses. But if I can find a way, I mean, I'll do it. But there, there was a like the Fuse bug that was stopping the progression of the game. If you use light the fuse, like I, I once used light the fuse to kill Saturn, and I don't think I got my, my whatever, whatever this ethereal gift box. Yeah. So I was like, I was out, just like I was just out a major set of loot. Which, if you're playing Roguelands Mini, is actually like a really big deal. Is that a replacement for my current Hulk? It looks like it is. Is it matching grip? It's matching grip, Jacob's. There, or uh, Jacob Stock, which I don't know what that does for me. I mean, just look at this. Quad. 
matching grip with a Hyperion stock, which gives you more fire rate, which I don't necessarily care about. But it's at least as neutral. It looks beautiful. In the Hyperion site. It's not bad. Let's shoot some skulls for some better grenades. That's what we're really in the market for. Realistically. What's up, Lance? Lance, after this run, I think we're going to go back to a little bit of the chaos and the craziness of the... Of the of the randomizer. What do you think? That's that's randomized weapons. All right, scroll down. We roll. Oh, another Slayer of Terramorphous. How could you do this to me? How could you betray me so thoroughly that I will never forgive you? And not once in a million years, I will loathe you entirely. This guy, this, this guy is, he's lost his mind. But how about the amount of times I can shoot that quad? I just want to put out there. Uh, an adaptive shield makes a lot of sense for what we're trying to do here. Randomize me. Okay, we roll. See, Lance just gets me. Lance gets me. Lance is an OG. All right, so sticky homing and incendiary bouncing Betty. Yeah, I mean I think it's it's better. That's it's absolutely better. Leaving legendaries on the ground feels bad, man. But we got to roll roll tide. <laughs> oh my gosh, she entered. I'm I'm gonna enter a fugue state. That's where you want to be though. If you can enter the fugue state, then everything becomes content. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you get rolled a perfect. Another Hulk for the contest. Who is going to be the, la the, the the last Hulk standing? That one has a bandit grip. An Hyperion stock for better fire rate. And with more damage, better accuracy, but a really slow reload time. We won't need to reload if everything is dead. That's the best part about it. We save that weapon. And we go with this... Oh, a little ironclad. Is that how you think it's going to go, huh? And you can just come over here and say, I resist fire. You don't resist to the head. Oh, <laughs> get out of here. You don't want to get on my bad side. Okay. I want to have enough shotgun ammo left to fight Doc Marcy. Let's get some more bouncing baddies out there. Oh, little floater. How about that one? Eat. Oh, just eat it. I can help. I need. I can help destroy that shield. There we go. Another bouncing Betty will shred. Good night. But they're homing. That's why. I, that's yeah. That's why it was a perfect toss. So that that trajectory seemed a little bit crazy. Happy Friday, Lance. We're we're chilling. Pop out. Oh, later, kid. Okay, so it looks like it's just Doc Mercy now. And I have a Crunch Class mod. Hoi! Who, Who makes the prettiest noise? True, Krieg, true. By the way, the... The hybrid sound system that they... Oh, is that an anti-affection? It's an electric chair. Doc Mercy's taken me out a few times. Any Torg weapons? Yeah, I got this Hulk. We've been having the Hulk contest. So this is the current Hulk. That's number one. But we've been having a couple that have been trying to go for the crown. This one right here. This this Hulk right here. Has been trying to as well. And I meant to hit the compare. Right here. So the one on the right is better. So we keep that one. And then there's another one down here too. So that's that one. And then there's another one down here, too. Not the bang stick. There's a better one. Yeah, this three-way Hulk. Which immediately has... Which has lower damage, max size, and, re and a little bit better reload speed. Okay. Now we roll. Yes, sir. It looks like the grenade actually looked like it did the most. Boom! If you can hit people with the actual center of the electric chair, it goes kind of wicked. Okay. I, found, I saw that legendary. I won't let it go. 
Okay, a Deft Emperor Fire. It's bladed though. A little sad about that, but the Deft... The Deft Emperor has a special place in my heart. It is my first ever legendary. If it, It's not Deft though, I wish it was Deft. The bladed. It's kind of sick looking. An homage to my first ever legendary weapon. Look at it. Imagine getting that in your playthrough, your first ever playthrough. You're playing my, you're like, oh my gosh, I have hit the promised land. A good touch makes sense to me. A trespasser makes a ton of sense to me. All right, we keep Love Thumper for the memes and the, uh, sorry, Boom Puppy, this, is, this, this isn't your run, but we keep it. I can, I have insane uh, backpack size. I do not have to worry about that. I can bring it. I say goodbye to all my weapons and gear every single run. You gotta give me, you gotta give me something to hang on to. You gotta throw me a bone. I wouldn't allow it if you didn't. We do end up with a little bit of, you know, craziness as far as DPS. I would kind of want to get to Metal Storm. But at this point, we do... Wild Shield is depleted to get some fire rates. I think that could go pretty off. Pretty off. Okay. Let's roll. Wasn't bad. There's the peak opener right there in my screen. It's everyone's like, you just take it every single time. I don't. It is. It is my ethos. It is. Assault rifles that blow everything up. Is me. So I just, I have to take it. It's, it's, it's not my fault. It's just what I have to do. I, I have played, I don't know how many hours of Borderlands 3. And I always play most. I try to switch other characters. I cannot do it. I always play most. There's just something about the blow everything up with rapid fire weapons. It just seems really, really OP to me. And not, yes, OP, but also just fun. Okay, so we get Hyperius. As far as matchups goes, this isn't the one I really want because I didn't end up getting a Singularity Grenade. And I'm sure I, oh, I did. It's homing. It's not the greatest. It's not the greatest. But if I'm smart, I can, I can do this. Let's roll. So we go for a little bit of chip damage with this, with this Hulk here. A little chip damage. And we immediately start going for pull-ins. Before anyone gets too far away. Pull-in, pull-in, pull-ins. There we go. Everybody get, everybody get nice and knotted up here. Isaac says BO3 Flak was so fun. Flak was or BO3 Zane was so fun for me. Flak was fun too. I think those are those are honorable choices. Honorable choices. That's what's I think that's a really cool thing about um a little bit that's a little bit weak right there. I need I need to get a better shot off. I was told that you should be using fire weapons in chat, and I one shot him with a corrosive damage corrosive damage weapon. Um, before. So I'm a little bit nervous about switching up all my tactics so suddenly. Am I getting a good stack up or not? No. Okay, well, what if I just did that? What if I just one shot him like that? Use fire damage weapons. A nice little re inter and it, a matching grip interfacer. I'm sorry that it's bladed. That's not my fault. A seraphim as well. I think this makes sense. Just stack up all different kinds of weapons. I don't have. The, I have SDUs kind of across the board, not really focused on any one thing. But this matching grip interfacer. Orc stock, which I'm not sure what the stats do, but that's matching grip. I don't know SMG parts that well, but that thing, I mean, it, it did its job. It literally was out there. One-shotting Hyperius. 
No questions asked. No questions ascertained. They're gonna end up... They're gonna end up increasing the... The raid boss health and the 1.0... Whatever their new patch is gonna be. They're gonna see this and they're gonna be like... Okay, we gotta increase raid boss health. If you... If you want to do that... If you want to do it, just know, okay, this is only with boar. Hyperius can be a run ender with other characters. Okay. But two, let's 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 have the same chat the opposite direction. Can we bring can we bring Mr. Pete, Mr. Pyro Pete down a little bit? Is that possible? Is that is that something that we can perhaps think about doing? If there's if there's a raid boss I want tuned down, would like tuned down, it's it's Pyro Pete. And I get the mechanics. That's the craziest thing. I understand his mechanics, and most of the time I still I still think that playing for power-ups is optimal. Maybe I'm just not that dude. But I literally play for power-ups on Pyro Pete pretty much every time. I do have a trespasser though this time around, which, if I can if I can be accurate with it, I think might have some sauce and some potentially some juice. So we're gonna have to find out. All right, tier two is a go. Like a like a like a never everyone's here in the in the first place. I never had I, I never ran flak in BL3. I tried running flak in BL3 for a little bit of the cradle. I don't think I, I could go for the cradle. Maybe it is a turtle shield a turtle shield moment. But it reduces my max health, which might be a good thing. I'm not going cradle, it's just simply not happening. I tried to play Flak, and I tried to go Beastmaster, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's like, oh wait, I'm, I'm actually falling asleep playing? There's no way that's possible. It was possible. I'm telling you it was possible. I was falling asleep playing Borderlands. Borderlands, Borderlands is the game that you cannot fall asleep playing. It's definitely up there with things like World of Warcraft. I don't know. Like, you just can't fall asleep playing. It's not possible. Too much to do. There's too much content. It's always something. It's always a grind. Now, the grind has to be fun. That's why I'm, I, I invent my own grinds, like the gauntlet, right? The gauntlet run in Roguelands. At first, the grind was to beat Roguelands, and then it was to beat Roguelands with every character, and then it was to do the gauntlet, but then I found randomized before completing that. So I've had to play it by ear. But I don't mind making my own challenge. I mean, what do what do gamers do? Hello. Thought we were all caught from the same cloth. You will not divide us. Ye who cannot make up your own challenges in games. That's, that's what we do. And when I played a Madden 04 franchise with my brother on the PlayStation 2, I had my he was the guy running the franchise. He's my he's old, my brother's older than me by four years, okay? He's he's the guy running the franchise, and he would consult me and be always be like, "Do you think this is a good idea?" Like keeping me involved, you know, be doing good Big Brother stuff. But at the end of the day, like he he selects the draft picks. He, well, I would say the draft he helped me. He let me be uh, uh, pretty heavily involved. But you know, he made the draft selections. I'm 100% back, by the way. Here, just want to point that out. Okay. This interfacer is doing definite dirty things to the health bar. There we go. Round over. Get God mode. We're, we're chilling. Ooh, let's go for pressure plate first. But so my my side quest as a, as a, the younger brother is I took the first thing I did was oh yes we roll. The first thing I did was I put in the backup defense event for the Philadelphia Eagles. Because my brother was playing with Javon Curse on the other side. He was playing defensive end Javon Curse. Probably the... 
he was like the uh, the new Philadelphia Eagles defensive end everyone was hyped about. He's, he's strong, but he's fast. He can do it all on the defensive end. He creates pressure. So my brother's going to be playing over there on that side of the field. On the When you're looking down at the screen, the right side defensive end. So I'm not sure what you would call that on defense. But if you're looking down at the screen as you're the offense, the guy's on the right side defensive end. I was playing, I mean, I'm his brother. I'm gonna go left side defensive end and we're gonna pinch the quarterback on every single play. But what did I do? I had to put in the backup, the backup defensive end. So that way my own character in the franchise would get stats faster than other characters because he's making more plays. Ooh, that's pretty cool, right? Yes, Madden 04 had crazy good mechanics. So his name was Victor Abir Miri. And he was the most dreaded defensive end in the NFL by, I don't know, Madden, by like, in our franchise, probably like, what, 2007, 2008? In like, probably about our third or fourth year, he was 99 overall, I would say. Maybe working on some of my, you know, some, some of my other stats that didn't get me not that, that to that height. But I was definitely, I was pushing 90s, and in, I think I had 10, 10 sacks one Super Bowl. Like, it got kind of crazy. Like, the way my player and, like, NBA and that stuff works nowadays, it kind of, you know, diminishes some of the, like, the amazing performances. Like, oh, I got 100 points on, on my player. It's like, yeah, I'm sure you did. Like, it's easy. That's a lot of wasted points, by the way. I thought I had to go more. I think that's, a, that's an easy respec. Easy respec. Quick charge. Fearless. Metal storm. I think, like, the fuse still has some juice. We keep going it. Mm. I think Fleet's doing good stuff for us. I know it has anti-synergy. It has anti-synergy with Quick Charge, but... I think it's still a decent skill. Move fast when your shields are down. I don't think you can go wrong with it. Let's roll. So yeah, in Madden 04, I made Victor B. Amiri like the number one defensive end. Oh, it's a Becca rolling through the rift. Just just waiting to be picked up by someone who can appreciate her. Let's roll. No velocity, no accelerate. This thing will be behaving properly. Let's go. Get that trifold shot going on this guy. Like that a lot. Like that a whole lot. Your rinse, brother. Becca me. All day, every day. How can you not roll Becca? It's just... It's just a beautiful, beautiful Jacob's Assault Rifle. This thing rocks. Something automatic too. Can we ding this midget, Goliath, without it going into Rampage? I cannot. I don't know if this cage will open and kill me. It looks a little bit like something that would open it up and kill me. I'm just gonna chill out. Oh! That... That was quite the jump, my man. That was quite the jump. I'll give you credit where credit is due. I'll give you credit where credit is due, but now you must now you must go. I'm sorry. Whoa, okay. Oh yeah, you go for yeah, go for him. Loot lunatic. He didn't have to tank that shot for me. It's like I didn't do it for me. Can't you tell him nut? I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> sorry. I I, I don't want to be here. Oh my gosh, Goliath Blaster, this that's a run under. That's an absolute run under. How low is he? Can we get there? We cannot get there. We're gonna have to try to get there. Stay here, homie. Oh my gosh, I think we might be dead. Yeah, <laughs> that's the end of the run. Holy cow. But honestly, we had, a, we had a pretty good time getting there. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to see more videos like this one, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.